Welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer. My name is Canon Andrew Eaton here at St Luke's Walls End and chaplain to the University of Newcastle. And here at St Luke's we stand on a Wabakal land and with the cathedral community we pay respects to elders past, present and emerging and commit our souls to the journey towards reconciliation. Our psalm this morning is 71 and our service begins on page 396 of the prayer book. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 71 To you, Lord, have I come for shelter. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a rock of refuge, a fortress to defend me. For you are my high rock and my stronghold. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the pitiless and unjust. For you, Lord, are my hope. You are my confidence, O God, from my youth upward. On you have I leaned since my birth. You are he that brought me out of my mother's womb, and my praise is of you continually. I have become as a fearful warning to many, but you are my strength and my refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praises. I shall sing of your glory all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of old age, nor forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me, and those that watch for my life conspire together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue him, take him, for there is none to save him. Be not far from me, O God. My God, make haste to help me. Let my adversaries be confounded and put to shame. Let those who seek my hurt be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will wait in hope continually, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall speak of your righteousness all the day, and tell of your salvation, though it exceeds my telling. I will begin with the mighty acts of the Lord my God, and declare your righteous dealing yours alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth upward, and to this day I proclaim your marvellous works. Forsake me not, O God, in my old age, when I am grey-headed, till I have shown the strength of your arm to future generations, and your might to those that come after. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. Great are the things that you have done, O God, who is like you. You have burdened me with many and bitter troubles, O turn and renew me and raise me up again from the depths of the earth. Bless me beyond my former greatness, O turn to me again and comfort me. Then will I praise you upon the lute, for your faithfulness, O my God, and sing your praises to the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips shall rejoice in my singing, and my soul also, for you have ransomed me. My tongue shall speak of your righteous dealing all the day long, for they shall be put to shame and disgraced that seek to do me evil. Lord our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 20 beginning at the 27th verse, sorry, beginning at the 19th verse. 
when the scribes and chief priests realised that he had told this parable against them, they wanted to lay hands on Jesus at that very hour, but they feared the people. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest in order to trap him by what he said, so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and authority of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach, and you show deference to no one, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a denarius. Whose head and whose title does it bear? They said, The emperor's. He said to them, Then give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We say the canticle together. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. We pray that, as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his presence abiding in us, he may raise us to joys eternal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we begin this new day, we pray for the first peoples of the diocese, especially the Awabakal, Birapai, Dark and Young, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. We pray for our church, for the church throughout the world, particularly as we approach Holy Week, that we may witness to the saving power and grace of God as one church. We pray for the church in this country, for Geoffrey, our primate, Kanishka, our Metropolitan, and Peter, our Bishop, Sonia and Charlie, his assistants. We pray for Kathy Rose, the Director of Professional Standards and all the Professional Standards Committee in their work. We pray for the Scottish Episcopal Church and the Church Missionary Society. We pray for the important work of Anglican care for our chaplains, Andrew Harrison and Jenny Foley and for the work of retired clergy throughout the, the diocese. In our community, we pray for hospitals and medical centres. And we pray and hold in our hearts those who are unwell this day that we know, those in need of God's healing power, both physically or spiritually. We pray for all those whom we will meet this day planned or otherwise. We pray for good outcomes of meetings. We pray that we may enter into God's deeper truth as we study the scriptures and that we might hear God speaking into our hearts as we pray.
for all the prayers in the silence of our hearts. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>